Basketball definitely helped me with my confidence um, outside of it as well and like my speaking skills, my public speaking skills because basketball you have to communicate to your teammates all the time and you got to yell because the crowd is so loud. Not even, you know, just basketball, but like it, do anything. It's, uh, you know, it's a lot of hard work. Um, confidence, genuinely being passionate about and loving what you do. I think don't do something because everybody says you should do it or because um, you're gonna get a lot of, you know, fame or kudos for doing it. Do it because you love it, because you're passionate about it. But yeah, I, you know, you get picked on or whatever, like, oh, you're too tomboy, or you're too this, or you're too that. And I did really well in school, too. So it's like, she's a nerd. And it's like, whatever, you're just jealous. <laughs> and, but that definitely was hard to develop. You have to kind of be like, you know, the say no to the haters kind of thing. But um, yeah, it was, it was hard. But I think basketball helped me do it, for sure, because it was something I could go to and be like, I know that I, I can go to this and enjoy it and be confident in it help me with other parts of my life. One of my coaches always used to tell me, um, fear nobody but respect everybody. And so, you know, the whole fear nobody part is like always believe that you either can be better than the person you're competing against or um, are better than the person you're competing against, but show respect towards them. So don't like trash talk them and whatnot. Semi-final and we were down two and there was like a second and a half left on the clock. Um, and I actually hit the game winning three. Wow. And I was, I was like 15. I was like, what? <laughs> I was like, what? Um, and it was just like, you know, in that moment, like the team rushing the floor and like all the energy and everything, obviously that's like a big, huge moment. And that probably will be one of my biggest basketball moments for the rest of my life. Um, but just, in that moment, like, and seeing the crowd and, like, everyone, like, waving the Canadian flags and all that stuff, like, I kind of just, in that moment, I was like, okay, you know what, this is what I want to do, and I really, really, really love it.